the Gospels, the Gospels do speak about Jesus preaching the Gospel. The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, you will read in them expressions like these, and Jesus went to a certain place and he preached the Gospel. Mark says, Jesus went to a certain other place and he preached the Gospel. Luke says he went to a certain other place and he preached the Gospel. Luke says, uh, John says that he went to a certain place and he preached the Gospel. Gospel, 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 Gospel. Now, we believe in that Gospel. The word translated Gospel into Arabic is Injil. We believe in the Injil. That there was this revelation God Almighty gave to Jesus. What he preached was from God. No doubt about that. But I'm asking my Christian learned brothers, I said, look, when he preached the gospel, did he have Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, Philippians, Galatians, Corinthians under his arm? A book? No, he didn't have any book with him. There was no Matthew, book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, nothing was there. So what did he preach? What he preached was the gospel. His message was the gospel. What you have now in these books here are called the gospel according to Saint Matthew. The Gospel according to St. Mark. The Gospel according to St. Luke. The Gospel according to St. John. According, 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 according. I'm asking why according to? I write little booklets. Yeah, here's one. Crucifixion or Crucifixion by Ahmad Didat. Is the Bible God's word? Ahmad Didat. Is not according to Ahmad Didat. This is not according to Ahmad Didat. This is Ahmad Didat. You read G Brother Jimmy Swaggart's books is by Jimmy Swaggart. By Jimmy Swaggart is not according to Jimmy Swaggart. Why according to Matthew? According to Mark? According to Luke? According to John? Why according, 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 according? You know why? Because none of them sign their names. They are anonymous books. This is what you assume that Matthew wrote. This is what you assume Mark wrote. This is what you assume Luke wrote. This is what you assume that John wrote. Therefore, according, 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 according. Now, this translations into Arabic. You have the Arabic Bible printed by the Christians, by the Bible societies. And they name their books in Arabic. It says, Injile Matthew. In the Injil or the Gospel of Matthew. Injil. Injile Matthew. Injile Marcus. Injile Lucas. Injile Johanna. I said, we believe in the Injile Isa. Isa means Jesus. We believe in the Injil, the Gospel of Jesus. Have you got Injile Isa? Bring it. We will, we will approve it. We will accept it. If there is such a thing, there isn't. Jesus Christ never wrote a word in his life. He never asked anybody to write a word in his life. Not a word was written in his life. Not one word was written in his lifetime. Where is the book? So we believe. Some, you asked the question? No. So we believe in the principle that God inspired Jesus. Whatever he said was true. There are some of his words still preserved in the Bible. Like for example, and this is life eternal, Jesus says, that they should know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Do Muslims accept that? Of course. That there is only one true God. He said, La ilaha illallah. In the time of Jesus and Isa Rasulullah. Jesus the messenger of God. We believe. See? But now, he said, that is what the message, the whole message that he brought is not here. Matthew even didn't write Matthew. Matthew, you see, J.B. Phillips, a pre bendary of the Chichester Cathedral in England, a paid servant of the Anglican Church, he translates the Gospels into modern English. You can buy his book. I don't know whether you can buy it in America. It's common all over the other English world. The Gospels in modern English by J.B. Phillips. J.B. Phillips, in his preface to the Gospel of Matthew, he says, Early tradition ascribed this gospel to the Apostle Matthew. That's what people said. But scholars nowadays almost all reject this view. What? Muslim scholars? Jewish scholars? Hindu scholars? No. Christian scholars. They reject the view that Matthew wrote Matthew. The author, whom we may still conveniently call Matthew, for example, I said Matthew 9.9. Instead of saying the first book of the New Testament, chapter 9, verse 9. Matthew 5, 17. Instead of saying the first book of the New Testament, chapter 5, verse 17. Conveniently, I must use the word Matthew instead of wasting your time and my time. 
So the author, whom we may still conveniently call Matthew, has plainly drawn on the mysterious Q in inverted commas, which stands for the German word Quella, sources, mysterious sources. He says, which may have been uh, an oral tradition. He has used Mark's gospel freely. In the language of the school teacher, he was copying wholesale from Mark. Matthew and Luke have copied 85% ad verbatim from Mark. And Mark was a 10-year-old boy when he, Jesus walked this earth. He was a 10-year-old boy, a schoolboy. Imagine an eyewitness and a ear witness, a disciple of Jesus. He call, goes and copies a boy 10-year-old who wasn't there. Does it make sense to you? He's copying ad verbatim, word for word. Luke and Matthew, 85% copied word for word from Mark. And Mark was not there. This is this, the, the, the status of the book. I hope I've answered the question. Okay, uh, we'll have these two questions, and then I would like to read a few of the written questions, and then uh, if there are more uh, people who would like to come down, they're welcome to come down.